37.5 kilohertz uh, is the right frequency, so that's a positive. Um, the fact it's intermittent, you'd expect that because you're not going to get a nice clean signal coming out of the ocean. It's going to have lots of interference. Um, if they're not right on top of it, it's going to get sort of that weak sort of almost like a crackly radio signal. Um, so it's not going to be a simple, clear pulse that they're going to have to be home in on. If, and it's a huge if, it's confirmed as being uh, a potential um, location, then it does mean that the search area suddenly goes from a search area of 85,000 square miles down to a search area of about 10 square miles. And that becomes, that goes from virtually the impossible to the plausible if it proves to be positive. But I certainly want to wait until the Australians have had a look at this, they've looked at the data, perhaps there's some confirmation uh, of the signal from uh, a third party before everything's put into this one area. Uh, let's wait and see what comes out. But is it hard to think of anything else that could be emitting a pulse like this? Well, it's a fairly standard signal uh, wavelength for a lot of pieces of equipment. Um, so it's used to locate all kinds of things. This is not unique to necessarily a black box pinger. Um, these pingers are used in other things as well uh, as underwater locators. However, as someone else has said, you know, the chances of first of all another plane being down there is, is slim. And they should have a fairly good feel for any oceanographic equipment that's in that region, which would be pinging. If it does prove to be the pinger, they are close to recovering the black box and, and the, some of the wreckage from the seabed. But the satellite pictures, we wouldn't expect to see debris on the surface in this area still. It will be long gone. Given that this is a remote part of a very deep ocean, how difficult is it going to be to find out exactly where that pulse has come from? If this is the pulse, you're going from tens of thousands of miles to tens of miles. An intense search with uh, side scan sonar and even um, ROVs, remote operated vehicles with cameras on, this becomes a viable search region. It can still take a while, but it becomes viable.